Sometimes in life we make mistakes that sadly come with a pretty hefty price tag. When a man decided to take his Lamborghini out for a drive after a heavy rain, he learned the hard way that being low to the ground makes you more susceptible to damage. Around a thousand shipping containers are lost in the sea a year, and the cost of it widely depends on what was in the shipping container. But just one container alone is upwards of $5,000. The Tesla Model X has rear Falcon Wings doors, which are not very visible from your side view mirrors. This driver made the mistake of backing out of her garage in a rush. With the average price of a harvester being similar or more to one of a Lamborghini, a small mistake can cost big time. A shipping company screwed up big time by not measuring the clear height, causing $400,000 worth of damages to the harvesters. This drone's flight was cut short when it came into contact with some high voltage wires. Many vending machines nowadays, you put your card first and then it charges you whatever you select. When a machine glitched, a man not only was charged $280, but also didn't get a single drink. After a Ford Escapade driver got a little impatient with the car in front of him on the highway, he got the brilliant idea to brake check the car, and well, it happened to be an unmarked cop car. Okay, one would expect someone that owns a $3 million LaFerrari to take care of it, but apparently this owner didn't. And well, he proceeded to floor the car and drive it too quickly, causing it to overheat. And you can even see smoke coming out of it. During a child support court ruling, a woman started celebrating a little too early when she heard the amount was $2,500 a month. Child support payment, $2,576. <laughs> that's Thank how much you gotta pay. No, that's nah. how much you gotta pay. <sighs> Thank you, you Never drop a fire extinguisher because there's a good chance you won't get it back. <laughs> To be fair, the box did say cake mix. Free coke and sugar -free. <laughs> Thankfully, there was no injuries and no major structural damage done. But the captain of a big ship wasn't paying attention while going through a canal and tried going right through a bridge. And well, it also showed how good of a job the bridge architect and workers did. A good plumber is something you don't want to cheap out on, since a small mistake can cause a lot of damage. When a car was wrongfully parked and had hundreds of unpaid tickets, the city confiscated it and may have caused some damage in the process. Sadly, there's not much context here, but a forklift operator was quick to abandon ship when things went south. Hello, Mr. George. Perhaps the sign wasn't big enough, but this 11-foot bridge was definitely not the best thought. This might have been hard to explain to an insurance company. When a man decided to ignore a road closed sign thinking the cement was dry, he learned a very expensive lesson. It's only a matter of seconds and this drained taxpayers funds by $30,000. Flying a drone in front of an alligator might get you an amazing video, but it will also probably be the last. Thankfully, the alligator was okay. These people are about to find out what the bottom of an elevator shaft looks like. This enthusiastic robot was so disappointed he failed the task that he decided to quit. It's always important to put your car in park, or better yet, put your emergency brake before leaving the car, since insurance doesn't really cover if you left the car in gear. Thankfully, this yacht was empty, but a miscalculation by the crane operators caused this new vessel to nosedive into a muddy river and then proceeded to sink, resulting in total destruction. Oh. 
During a delivery of a Jaguar convertible, the car fell, and it not only managed to hit a Chevrolet Silverado, but also a $100,000 Nissan GTR parked behind it. This man couldn't be more disappointed when his new $1,000 table was shattered after he tried laying it down. Sometimes, in order to win, you've got to sacrifice a piece. This man tried saving one crate of drinks, and it caused a complete mess. Carrying a 65-inch TV is a two-person job. Sadly, one of them was recording. After hitting the sign telling drivers what the maximum height for the garage is, the U-Haul drivers decided to keep pushing. Hell, I can't imagine the Corvette's owner's reaction to getting this news when a weight distribution error happened at a mechanic shop. This worker had a bad day at work when the loading machine failed. Okay, not sure if the friend just had really bad aim or was just trying to sabotage the engagement. Are you stole- <laughs> If you ever want to take your car underwater, make sure to always have a snorkeler so it doesn't ruin the engine. After this Range Rover driver got confident going underwater once, the second time around, luck wasn't on his side. This pigeon was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks to central heating, chimneys are becoming less popular due to having functionally no use to them. This house owner tried getting rid of his chimney to save money on maintenance. Amid one of the heaviest rainfalls in over a decade in parts of Germany, this Porsche dealership had catastrophic losses when seven newly ordered cars were completely flooded. Parallel parking is no easy task, with 49% of Americans having parallel phobia. This Ferrari owner was not happy when he found out a man was attempting to practice his parallel parking skills. Uh, nobody was hurt. Golf carts are fun to drive, but they're also very limited in maneuverability if it's muddy. These golfers learned the hard way when their cart ended up in the lake. <laughs> A good lesson to learn is that you always transport glass vertically to limit flex. A construction company learned this the hard way when they went to transport a pane of glass in the oddest way possible. This man's rationale might have been that he was going to drive his SUV through the beach, but looks like he attempted to drive in the ocean. What just seemed to simply be out of service electric shuttle buses parked turned into abrupt chaos when one of the batteries caught on fire, spreading to the rest of the fleet. Luckily, there was no one around. This is probably one of the biggest haulages ever transported for a long distance, with the gas tank measuring over 110 feet, but it wasn't placed correctly and it tipped over. In Huelva, Spain, two students hit a plywood wall that was just off the road, and well, thankfully none of them were injured, but they did decide to abandon their Lamborghini right there. And well, that same week in the country of Andorra, the only Lamborghini Urus in the country at the time was also abandoned in the middle of the road, 